What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Beers and Breakdowns. In this one we got one of, I think, I thought was gonna be a pretty good movie. A lot of you guys recommended it until I got into it and realized that there's so much fuckery in this You movie. didn't like it? Dude, this shit was so stupid, uh, bro. I, so I, I thought it was gonna be a stupid movie. Yeah. And I was like, it's not that bad. It wasn't that bad, but there was a lot of things that were really, really stupid that right. I can't wait to pull, point out. Hey, bear with me, and I'm not just trying to destroy it. I think you guys will get a lot of humor out of this. It's really funny, right. some of the mistakes that they made that were like, what? Yeah, yeah. It's really, really funny. Well, it's, so it's also around. like, you're whenever you're fighting aliens, you have to suspend reality, reality a little bit. But that's not even what got me. It wasn't even the aliens. Trust me. Okay. What got me was so basic and so dumb that it's almost unbelievable. We'll stick around. Stick around. I, I think I might know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it wasn't There was one the thing that I was just like, hmm, every this time. This is so dumb. And so it's not the aliens, trust me. So we're not saying that, oh, you're shooting at aliens. No, there's just tactics wise that something they did was just bananas. But before we get into that, thank you guys for watching Beers and Breakdowns. Thank you for being part of this. If you enjoy these shows, please hit the like, subscribe, share this show, let people know that we're putting out this awesome content because we think it's pretty good. You guys seem to think it's pretty good. And also know that we have a lot in the works for you guys. We have the Ruck Trainer coming to, Drop 2 is about yep. to go. Then we have, uh, a, the Ruck Trainer is about to be mass produced, finally, so we can start doing bigger drops instead of our small mm -hmm. uh, you know, drops that sell out in a couple hours. And then also, the big thing, drum roll please. We have a designer for AR670-1 boots for you guys to take to selection that we think are gonna be the best boots on the planet for getting selected for Special Forces. So comfortable, so amazing, the perfect boots. We have a designer that worked for Reebok for 20 years creating these boots. There's gonna be an opportunity for you guys to help us make this dream come a reality. Um, and we'll give you more info on that, but stay tuned. Sign up for the email list so you guys don't miss anything. Sign up at the fngacademy.com and we will fill you in on all of it. But we are putting it all on the line to help you guys get selected. That being said, let's jump into Battle LA. Actually, isn't today the Marine Corps birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy Marines. Happy birthday, Marines. Hoorah! <laughs> hey, never dog. I'm getting some crayons. They're gonna hate that. <laughs> you get a cake and just instead of candles, just put crayons on it. <laughs> they don't even eat the cake, they just all take the crayons out. <laughs> cake was delicious. My favorite was blue. I wonder where that came from, the whole crayon eater. It's gotta be based in reality. They probably literally eat crayons. Mm -hmm. It's like you go to a Marine Corps defect and it's just like crayons or the side of crayons. You pick your color. <laughs> I'm gonna do yellow today. So my whole thing with this is that this guy just gave a normal ass, let's go show him what Marines are all about brief. Motherfucker, those are aliens. <laughs> You're gonna hit me with, let's go show them how Marines fight Marines, well, let's I, be tough and get them Marines. I love how like, like bitch. <laughs> I love how like the E6 in this is like, talking to him, he's like, oh, we gotta, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna do this or whatever. And he's like, it's what I've trained for. It's like, bro, you're a fucking fresh LT, like straight out of school. Yeah. And like, you've trained for alien invasions no, that are gonna bitch. destroy the world. Like, this whole fight should have never happened. Those Marines should have been going home, kissing their wives, and waiting for that shit to blow up. <laughs> they got fucking Terminator vehicles, right? Like, like doing fucking Voltron in the sky, destroying entire locations. We never went through that school, the alien fighting school. I never had the opportunity. You didn't do that. that? No, I didn't. Are you serious? I don't know. I don't know how to fight aliens. You didn't do the alien fighting school? No. Seriously? Yeah, it's crazy. Was it a budget issue? Maybe. Are you kidding me? I think you didn't I qualified. Like, bitch, those are fucking aliens. <laughs> You have no idea what you're talking about. What the fuck are we doing here? Hey, he's like every other hard charging LT though. Right? A dumbass. Every fucking lieutenant gets there and they're like, I'm Captain America. And yeah. it's like, bitch, you haven't I'm been gonna out of school. I'm going to save the world. No, you're not. You're not. And it's funny because all lieutenants don't want to save shit. They just want to get promoted. Right. They just don't want that. Well, in the army, they don't want that gold bar anymore. It's almost like a, it's, it's, it's like a stain, right? Yeah. Everybody, you see a, a butter bar, which they call a butter bar. And you're like, oh. Yeah. You're gross. Yeah. You're like the private of officers. Exactly. All you have to do though is wait two months and you get promoted above 
a fucking first sergeant. Dude, I remember my first uh, second lieutenant when I got to my first unit in the regular army. Um, he was like this like super skinny, like shaved head, still shaved head guy. But he would dip like nobody's fucking business. He always had a water bottle that was like filled to the top yeah. with spit. And he never had a lid on it. And he's yeah. like, it's like you're always like waiting for it to just get knocked over. And he was the type that was like that. Like he was like this guy right here. He's yeah. like Captain fucking America. Um, I'm going to save the with world. With his ranger dip. Yeah. Uh. Um, fat fucking dip in his mouth. You realize like, that like the fatter your lip and the more dip you have does not make you a tougher human being. Oh, for him, no. Like he's just like packing that shit in there. What? That was like when I was in ranger selection. Like the ranger cadre would come out and it was like a competition mm -hmm. to which cadre could have the biggest dip lip. And they would show you like hanging down here to where you could see like the whole thing is just all just filled with chaw and it's just like you like this is something to do. <laughs> you remember Sergeant Hernandez in the Q course? Yeah. In the early phases of the Q course? Complete like complete shitbag from what I remember. And I just remember he was like it was like he just started dipping. It's like he'd pack it in there and he'd go to spit, but he couldn't spit, so he'd just like turn his head down and like yeah. gravity just pull it out. <laughs> like this oh, guy was the fucking worst, man. This guy you was You know where I learned to, to dip is in ranger selection because we would stand in formation for an entire 10 hour day. Ooh. It's so like if you didn't have anything to do, you're standing in formation oh, all day. That sucks. You stand in formation before breakfast, run to breakfast, run back. Stand in formation until lunch. Run to lunch, run back. Stand in formation until dinner, run to dinner, run back. Stand in formation until the rangers come out. So you guys are just you. standing there? All day. Locked so, up. Locked up. Though. So the, so you would start to sit down in the back. Like, you would get tired of standing, you would start to sit down. And then the cadre would come out, and you'd be like, howdy, and you would all stand up. And then he would, you'd wait like 15, 20 minutes, and you'd be like, all right, they're not coming back out. And then they would come back out. Oh my God. So they would just play games with you. So the only thing you could do was throw in a big dip and then you would dig a hole with your foot and then spit it into the hole and then spit it into the hole and then as soon as you like had to leave for a meal you would kick the hole closed and bury all your dip spit and then that's your life see there's so many people that dip in the army and i spoke to a friend who was air force and he's like oh nobody does that and i was like in the army like you've got guys that are giving briefs to commanders with a spit bottle in their yeah. mouth a big fat wad and like for me, it was so normal. Like I never really got into dipping that much. For some reason, it, I couldn't like build the spit. But you know, you and I used to love the Levi Garrett. The chew, yeah. Oh my God. But like anytime we're overnight in a patrol base, that's when like if somebody had dip, I would put it in because it would keep me awake. Right. And, and for me, it was a thing like just not to fall asleep. I'd put a dip in and get all like loopy and nauseous feeling, but it kept me awake. Yeah. So that's more, you're trying to get that nicotine rush and it gives you that spitting motion, gives yeah. you something, something to, to do. Something to do, something to focus on. Yeah. So you don't go to sleep. Instead Otherwise of, you're like. <sighs> oh, for sure. Dude, one time I had a, I had the, um, when we took a break from SUT and we went home and mm -hmm. I bought those like quarterback mitts. So did I, man, yeah, hell dude. yeah. I had the quarterback mitts around for the hand warmers. So you would strap them around your waist and then when it was freezing, you'd throw your hands in it because your hands would be going numb. So one time I had the 240 or 249 and I'm sitting on the patrol base and I was like, wait a minute. And I took my mitts and I put them on top of the 249 and I went, huh? Yep. And I passed out immediately. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, before I know it, shit's blowing up. And I was like, bah! Dude, I fell asleep so many times on the am on the firing line of the ambush, like on the support by fire or whatever. Everybody did. I'm just sitting out of the gun, just like, <sighs> and everybody starts shooting. And you're like, ah! <laughs> 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 so him and I went through SUT together. And it was in the middle of the fucking winter in, in Fort Bragg. Miserable. Major. Super fucking cold, and they would call us the Snivel Kings. Do you remember that? Did they do they that? They called us the Snivel Kings. Did because... I kill him? I can't say his name. <laughs> no, it, but it was like it was. I remember being like, "Yeah, I'm a fucking Snivel King." Oh, because I because whenever we got to a patrol again. base, like they're like, "Only pull out what you need." It's like, no, bitch, I'm I pulling need it out all. every piece of cold weather equipment yeah. and gear I got. Like, I need it. It was all. a complete fucking Turkish bazaar yard sale. <laughs> right? I was pulling my whole bag out Me and too. just putting everything on. And then we get blown out. And I'm like dying, like running with like five layers on. Me too. It's like, fuck, we got to stop. Tom always bitches about it because he got in charge of the uh, recon operation and train up to deployment. Yeah. And so we had to train, take a bunch of infantry with us. And I told him I, was, I didn't want to go. And I was like, Tom, I'm not freezing my ass off 
looking at this fake ass patrol base all night. Like we've already been on ops. I just got back from an op and now I got told to go with you. He just got back from an op. He's pissed off and he, but he's prior infantry. So he's like, dude, don't do that. And I was like, Tom, as soon as we get there, <laughs> all my shit's coming out. I'm crawling in my sleeping bag and I'm going to sleep. And he's like, no, you're not. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and we got to the recon spot and no shit. I open up my bag, pull out my sleeping bag, kick that bitch in, cover up my face, zip it all the way up to the top, and I went to sleep. <laughs> and he comes up and kicks me. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? He goes, bro, what are you doing? And I was like, Tom, I zip it. I said, like, I fucking told you. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to sit here for three hours while you recon this site and fucking do a fake patrol base. I'm out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about this fake nonsense. I'm not playing this game anymore. All the fuck infantry it. guys were just so, funny, like looking at you. And he was all like, asleep. that's what he said. He was like, dude, all the infantry guys are watching. I was like, tell them to get their sleeping bags out, crawl in, zip up their thing and go to fucking sleep. <laughs> and he was like, I'm not going to do that. Dude, I was like, fuck uh, it. All these guys go to sleep. This is fake. And I'm not playing this fucking game. Tom's anymore. up on his gun. Yeah. Like somebody's about to fucking predator yeah. is going to pop yeah. out of the woods or something. <laughs> Tom, like, it's fucking fake. <laughs> Tom was the only one that gave a shit that day. And he was so uh, mad at me because I shit you not. By the time I woke up, opened up my sleep bag and looked around, those infantry cats looked like they were having a yard sale, dude. Like yeah. every one of them had all their gear out. They were in their sleeping bags. They were chilling. And it was all one of those, it's like, you know what the right thing to do is, right? Yeah. So if we were in fucking combat, you would do the right thing. Yeah. We're not in combat. We're not in combat. We're exhausted. It's cold. We've been running operations nonstop. We're freezing our asses off. And I hit a point where we're on the side of a mountain that I know is not part of the training plan. I know for a fact is not part of the training plan. They were sending us out to be dicks. Yeah. And I was not playing the game. <laughs> and I told Tom I was not playing the game, but Tom kept playing the game. Me and those infantry cats went to sleep. <laughs> And Tom, just Tom by and himself. No shit. Tom is out there crawling around <laughs> trying to connect, collect fucking recon on this fake ass site. And he's drawing pictures That's and doing funny. the whole nine. As you like wake up in the morning, he's got like a complete ghillie suit that yeah, he's made. He's like painted face and everything. He still gets mad about that shit today because he's like, you're a dickhead. You're supposed to have my back. And I was like, I told you with the minute we left, I, as soon as we got to our like spot, I'm going to sleep. You knew. You knew what was going to happen. I told you. Got distress call and civilians are still there. We don't know how many. Just gather survivors and radio. Wanna know how many? Wanna know how many? The look on his face, he's like, aliens? <laughs> aliens? Wanna fight fucking aliens? What are we talking about aliens? You get those civilians and you get the hell out of there. You kill anything that is not human. Let's go, let's get it done. Bro, so this, I thought this shit was hilarious. You know the time window they gave him? Three hours. Three hours. To clear a fucking neighborhood. To clear a neighborhood, get civilians and get back out. Right. I don't know if you know the military, but <laughs> nothing gets done in three hours. <laughs> three fucking hours. Like you could be on base and be like, I want you guys to go get chow and then meet me back here. As soon as you're done, you have three hours. We will take four. <laughs> Like nothing gets done in fucking three hours. And then you hours. throw in the variable of aliens. looking for civilians while aliens are hunting you. Right. You want us to go into a city, find civilians throughout this city, so grab them up. You don't know what injuries they have. You don't right. know what medical attention they need. You don't even know if they could walk. What if they're, what is it when you're non-ambulatory? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. So what if they're not ambulatory and they, you have to carry them? Right. And now you have to get out of that hey, city. Air Force is coming, bro. And three hours and you're going to drop bombs. That is so unrealistic. It's unbelievable. What would actually happen is it's going to say collateral damage is whoever the fuck can't get out of that city. <laughs> we and told you guys. We to told leave. you to get out. We're dropping bombs in three hours. Everybody is evacuating. You're right. not going to send fucking uh, a company of Marines to save, to look for anybody with only a three hour window. Maybe if you had a 24 hour window, even I promise you, even a 24 hour window would be tough because you're going to be going out. First of all, you don't know exactly where they are. Yep. So now you're, you're searching. How many hours does it take to search to find people? Then you don't know if they're ambulatory. So if they could walk, you don't know if you're going to have to carry them on litters, which is going to take time, taking turns, switching people out. These jackasses somehow live here and don't know any of the streets yeah. don't know any of how to get to 
anywhere they're going. So it doesn't make any sense that you would only give them a three hour window. And that three hour window is obviously a fail. And they're also Californians. So as soon as you get there, they're gonna give you shit and be like, I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah, they're gonna be like, this, I was born here, I didn't die here, bro. It's like, and I don't know if you've ever been to California in the traffic, but imagine <laughs> what those fucking roads look like with people trying to get out of California. Like aliens are coming every day in California's traffic. Yeah. It's like aliens are fucking coming. Californians wanna get coffee, you're in the car for two and a half hours. Yep. You think fucking aliens coming is not gonna clog down those highways <laughs> to the max? You're gonna have people just running for their fucking lives. So this whole, the whole premise of the movie is built on this rescue operation for civilians. Doesn't make any sense. And somehow we're giving them a three hour window. <laughs> Oh, lost the lieutenant. What else is new? Okay, this is where this movie completely loses me. <laughs> Why? I am, you, oh really, you don't pick it up? What, what's that? I'm happy about this. I'm actually happy about Let's this. Let's hear it. You tell me, nothing's wrong with what you just saw. I mean, there, it's, no, I don't know. It's, Explain the scene to me. It's a smoke-filled street. Okay. You've got a lieutenant who's lost, which makes sense. Okay. He's like, I think we have a kilometer to go. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like they're just walking down the street. They're not in any sort of tactical formation, really. Mm -hmm. So they're he's just... checking his map. He's trying to figure out where he's at. Yep, yep. He's lost. Yep. It's confusing. It's all normal to me. It's all normal? Yeah, it's a lost lieutenant. <sighs> what do you see, my friend? Okay. <laughs> I see the fact that you're in California. <laughs> Not wait, Afghanistan. Wait, where they live. So why do you have a map in the first place? Why did you not pull out your phone and pull up Google and type in the address? What's the and have the blue line tell you exactly where to go? What's the the one where with it's, walking distance, driving distance, bike distance, <laughs> bus distance, train distance? You can have any travel experience you like want. Like oh, this says we can walk there in six minutes. We even in Afghanistan we had ATACs. That a could ATACs, that was, it was the Android based system that yeah. you would flip down and it's a phone. We had ATACs, I could zoom in, I could do all that. This guy's got an actual map saying What's one the Marine click. Corps? It's the Marine Corps. One click? As a police officer, how many people, how many police officers went around looking for bad guys going, there's a one click northwest. I think that's where the suspect is. How about a block, my guy? How about we create our own cities that you're from the same city, you know what a block is. So how about we have two blocks to go, three blocks to go, one block to the left, one block go east, one block go west, one block go south, north, whatever. <laughs> Fucking one click? Bro, where the fuck do you think you are? Pull out your cell phone, plug in the address, Voila! That's why I didn't even you, think about dude, that. Dude, you have direct access to exactly where you're going. The fact that they're on a map trying to find their way is the dumbest thing well, I've look, ever heard. Look, maybe the that. aliens shut down the grid or no, the, they the didn't. internet. I don't know. They're I, aliens. What do you mean you don't? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. You don't I, know this. Yes, I do. I thought about that. What if the aliens <laughs> shut down the grid and so they were forced to rely on maps, right? right. But then all their radios worked. Hmm. I'm you're pretty right. sure right. Right. that radio satellites would be the same thing as cell phone satellites. So if your radios work, your cell phones work. All right, you've thought about this more than I have. It doesn't make Look, any fucking sense. That's the problem, is you're diving too deep. Just take it for what it is. No! It's an alien movie. We're not here to take it for what it is. If you guys want to take it for what it is, be my guest and don't watch these reviews. We're here to dive into it with our experience. <laughs> and we would take ATAX out, we would have our cell phones. Definitely we would, would yeah. plug in that GPS address. We would know the exact location, where the walking distance is, how many blocks. You're gonna go two blocks north, we're gonna go one block east, and we're gonna go one block west. Or or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We would have the exact directions. We would not be relying on maps and we would not be using clicks. <laughs> you're you're taking all these <laughs> Afghanistan tactics and applying it to your streets. It's hey, the stupidest part of the Leave this LT alone. That's what he learned in school. And He's a fucking he, lieutenant. He's like, this is what I learned. I learned maps. And so, they're, they're like, sir, sir, 
use your phone. He's like, no, no maps. No map. <laughs> map, I gotta map. Go map. Or two clicks. It's like, uh, how many blocks are no two, one click? <laughs> and on top of that, I, I'm not even gonna wait for the scene. I'm just gonna say it. On top of this dumbassery of him using a map, the fucking unit gets split up immediately. And now you breaking have- Breaking contact. Breaking contact. And then you have some kid, one of their privates, Hanging out in a fucking laundry, laundry room. <laughs> like, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. I got me in a yellow building. Listen, guy, how about you pull out your cell phone that you just texted dick pics to your girlfriend five minutes ago before the aliens fucking attacked and say, Google Maps, where am I? He's like, sup, bitch. Look at this war dick. <laughs> He's fighting over, aliens. He's over here recording his combat penis, <laughs> and he can't even figure out what fucking building he's at. What kind of idiot? What kind of idiot do you think I am that I'm supposed to believe this shit? He's a he's a typical private. He's a typical lieutenant. Motherfucker, hell no. <laughs> You're like, oh, we're outclassed. Bro, that's where I'm at. You just saw the motherfucking Transformers like <laughs> right. make Ultron in the this sky. This thing flew over and was like, nope. This thing says, <laughs> like, if you could, what's the what's the main truck from Transformers? Optimus. Megatron? Optimus. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, yeah. If you could Optimus Prime a spaceship, you think some dumbass infantrymen are gonna right. have a chance with a rifle? And I include myself you're in that. You're standing there with an M4 and you're watching this, you're like, oh yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, I could have the most good You don't even shit. got an ACOG or anything, you got iron sights. You're like, oh. Bro, I don't care if it's we have quad nods, <laughs> we have M4s with the most Gucci shit you could possibly imagine. When some fucking Transformers start connecting in space, I'm out, dude. Like, I'm done, bro. Like, I'm good. I'm that's, out. <laughs> that's where I draw the line. I can't help you here. We're not fighting people. This is not our area of expertise. You don't need special forces. You need Jesus, my <laughs> like, friend. This, this is not my like, fight. This, <laughs> this is not my fight. This is not my fight. I'm going to get my family, and I'm going to go find an underground bunker as soon as possible. So this whole, like, we're going to stay and fight because we're military. No, sir. <laughs> No, sir. That's your limit. That's your limit. Russian, Russia invasion is like the peak of my, <laughs> like, that's where I'm at. You'll stand for that. I'm, I will stand for that. The extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials, bye. <laughs> I'm fucking out, dude. I ain't playing that game. I am dropping my rifle. I'm de-kidding, and I'm getting in the first fucking Ford pickup I can find, and I'm punching it straight to my family's house. <laughs> to dig a hole in the ground and hide and hope that they forget about us because you are not fighting fucking Ultron in the sky. Right. That dude, what's the guy for, with that snaps his finger and 50% of the population goes away? Thanos? That's fucking Thanos up there. <laughs> You're trying to shoot 5.56 five, at fucking Thanos, son. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, just, like, it's not doing shit. I see yeah. Thor use one rifle. <laughs> right. Thor don't use rifles. Unless you're homies with uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, you need to get your bitch ass out of there, right? Call that me shit, like, yo, motherfuckers, that, I need some help, bitch. That shit, you're <laughs> out class, son. So unless you got a direct line to Nick Fury, like, you're not doing anything that's helping anybody. Fucking Letty over here. But she kills me, bro. She's terrible. Hoorah, <laughs> Marines. This shit kills me because it's like, first of all, this is the first time that we find out that not only are the Marines idiots, <laughs> but they, the first time? Yeah, but the, <laughs> but the aliens are also idiots in this movie. We have aliens who have far superior capabilities than us standing and fighting on a, a road right yeah in a like a standoff yeah so we got our dumbass marines who think it's a good idea to shoot at aliens right and, yep. and 
And then we have our dumbass aliens who think it's a good idea to just stand there and be like, ta 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 ta. Take cover, bitch. Do something. Like these guys, it's it's like the battle of the idiots, man. And then you got fucking Letty, who's probably the the worst actress on the planet outside of Fast and the Furious. Like I'm waiting for Dom and Fast and the Furious Ten. <laughs> In his charger. Yeah. Get in, Lenny. I don't got friends. Yeah. I got family. I got, <laughs> I got family, son. Like, where was Dominic in this movie, and why didn't he come? And that would have been the ultimate like yeah. cameo, right? I bet. <laughs> right like here. the the best thing would have been the spaceship would have been having like a, a cable attached to it with a charger at the end of it, and Dom hanging out the charger <laughs> to grab Letty's hand and lift her up out of this and be like. She's out Fast and Furious. But where 10. would where would Ludacris be? He's got to be in the movie. Luda, I feel like Luda, Luda's a Marine. Luda would have <laughs> fell out of the car and then started fighting with the Marines, and he would have got shot. And then Dom would have had a but tear Luda's coming got out hand of his gun, eye. Though. He's like, ah. Uh, Dom Dom would have got shot, and he would have slowly started dying. Or Luda, Luda yeah, yeah. would have got shot, slowly started dying, and then Dom would have had the tear as him and Letty just like flown off on with the, the with the cross on his necklace. Yeah. <laughs> He, and he would have kissed the cross. Would have made the movie so much better. Bro, so oh, much better. man. And then somehow, an actor that... Oh, fuck me, dude. Holy God shit. God damn it. Yeah. I was broke, so I <laughs> said it was broke. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dude, I pulled a muscle on <laughs> He's like, I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> if they say fucking Staff Sergeant one more time in this movie, I'm going to lose my shit. Every other word is staff sergeant. Take a shot every time they say staff sergeant and see what happens. That's what she said. <laughs> Yo, he's laughing. Look at her. Because <laughs> you could just track a missile just floating through the air. That's like. the last one. It's going 20 miles an hour. What, 84? Yep. Yeah. They don't beep. <laughs> Did I do that? Yo, Letty can't even put her helmet on right. <laughs> it's always like cocked. Yeah, and you're gonna tell me that she can hit like a half mile AT4 shot without any hesitation? Well, she's like an Air Force Intel person, right? Yeah, that's another thing in this movie when she's like, everyone introduces themselves as their job. Like, motherfucker, aliens are attacking the Earth. I don't care what you do Hello, for I'm the military. Carter's Rogue Flight, United States Army Special Forces, 18 Charlie. Okay, Mountain see, level one though. and level two qualified. Well, I think that's different because that's useful information. This bitch was like, I'm an intel analyst for the 1855th Corps for yeah. 2152nd Regiment. You're like, I, I didn't give You're a like, fuck 20 minutes. Bitch, ago. I don't care. Yeah. Like, Can I mean, you shoot? This movie is terrible. 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 I watched it on the airplane. And I wish there was something else I could do. <laughs> when yeah. I, was watching, I was like, this fucking movie sucks. Yeah, so I talk shit about Fast and the Furious 15 and 20. <laughs> but at now that I've watched this, Letty, do me a favor. Only do Fast and the Furious for the rest of your life. <laughs> this is a good movie. Please stop doing other movies. movies. This is a great movie. What it was all right. Name? So this, this is a shitty movie. One out of ten, I would give it like a six or seven. It's a good movie. <laughs> Substance, a fucking one. I mean, yeah. tactically, it's probably a bad movie. But Tac in terms of that's like, why we're here movie. is not to talk about like it was it entertaining. Sure, it's entertaining. It was a good entertaining movie. But why would you ask Green Berets to talk about entertainment value? The fuck do we know? What are we, Rotten Tomatoes? I don't give a shit about fucking entertainment. I'm not trying to give you the fucking tomato score of this movie. We're here to evaluate the tactics. And the tactics of this movie are about zero They're out of fucking garbage. 10. They're, They're shit. garbage. Absolute shit. They're hot shit. The unit's getting separated. They don't know how to use cell phones. They're using maps in Los Angeles. They're calling out kilometers instead of blocks. Instead of saying, hey, the one with the red car in the two-story building up on the left, 
They're saying, 25 meters up on your left, southwest, 26 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're still losing because they're fighting aliens instead of going home <laughs> and kissing their wives before they get smoked into oblivion like aliens would probably do to us. Ask Joe Rogan. He knows some shit about this. That motherfucker's the first one to get probed and anal banged by some fucking aliens. That guy's already signed his contract. Not Joe. Joe Rogan? Not Joe. Joe Rogan's begging oh, for... Oh, Joe Rogan, Kim Kardashian. He might be an people. alien. Dude, Joe Rogan, Kim Kardashian, fucking Kanye West, <laughs> they're going to be the first ones up there to be like... Elon Don't, Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> they're going to be begging for oral penetration over all of the rest of the world. They're going to be like, please fuck me first. And I want to tell all the world about it. If Joe Rogan ain't sucking alien dick by the time they come down, I will be absolutely fucking shocked. You could kit that motherfucker up in the most quad. You could have him in six fucking quad knots. He would be stripped down naked with a fuck me sign on his face within five fucking minutes. That's how that Insert cock here. Insert alien penis, whatever shape it is. Right here, right here, right here. If not, I'll figure it the fuck out. I'll make a jujitsu fucking chokehold to strangle your dick until it comes in my face. If if that's what it takes to get you to come on me, Joe Rogan's your man. This movie is hot fucking garbage, son. But that being said, make sure you check us out on our ultra professional fngacademy.com website where we're helping you guys get selected and we are making sure that you have all the gear that you need, that you have all the mentorship you need to be the most professional, accurate fighting force on the fucking planet. So you too so, can review movies. So you too could talk shit about movies and when aliens come, you don't Joe Rogan their dick, but you actually try to fight back and get blown to smithereens within three seconds but you know what we tried <laughs> goodbye people uh, with that being said <laughs> Say bye, <Kurt>. bye. <laughs> <laughs>